I like having fun. I like to laugh. I like to meet people who can make me laugh. I like having fun. Yes, I like it to laugh. I like having fun to meet people who laugh. Peace and quiet. Doug's far away in Spain, and Vic, Vic called in sick. Finally, I can have the show I've always dreamed of. Just me and my cool ideas and thoughts and opinions, uninterrupted by the cacophony of drops and obnoxious sound effects. I have nothing to say. Uh-oh. I hope Captain Carlin doesn't try and fill the gap with his two cents. Or worse, he may try to emulate the artistic instincts of Doug and Vic with his own cobbled together soundboard. Maybe we should have just canceled. everybody sorry i was thinking about something we're back we're back we're live we're here welcome to office hours it's tim heidecker checking in with everybody how is everyone today it is ready for it stand by close your eyes hold your breath everybody take a big put your cereal down jacob god damn it you got milk and cheerios and lucky charms all over your beard you sicko i see you in the zoom room sitting there Put the cereal down, spit the milk out. Here we go, you ready? Close your eyes. Get on your knees. So Get on quiet. your hands and knees. <laughs> it's so quiet. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to, I'll change the energy, no problem, <clears throat> I can do that easily. <laughs> it's Thursday, June 2nd, 2022. I'm calling in from... <laughs> Calling You're in. calling in. I am here. I told you that see this would be nice. You don't Fine, let's it. do this. Let's do it your way. It's Office Hours Live, and we are live on my YouTube channel. It is Thursday, June 2nd. The hour is 10 a.m. on the Pacific Coast. A beautiful, absolutely gorgeous California day. Probably is going to warm up if, if yesterday is any sign of the things to come. We often talk about yesterday's weather. It's a chance for us to look back. It's a chance for us to reflect. And it's not, the past is the present, folks. We are living in the moment. We talk about the future, we talk about the past. Those all exist at the same time in many different forms. We're gonna have a lot of fun today. We've got music coming from Vicky Farewell later in the show. And it's just me. I was uh, just me and Captain Carlin. Oy vey. Here we go. Here we go. Come along on this wild ride with us. We all knew going into today that we were going to be absent one member of the Trinity, DJ Doug Pound, uh, as, as almost a college student would do. Someone of the college age booked himself a little backpacking trip in Spain. Popping around Spain with friends without a care in the world, hopscotching through life. God bless him. God bless his eternal youth. It keeps me young. He doesn't have the responsibilities of fatherhood, keeping food on the table for a family. He can hopscotch through Europe at his, uh, as to his heart's content. At his pleasure. And he's having uh, all sorts of skateboarding adventures out there in the streets of Madrid and Barcelona and wherever else. But the big breaking news was, unfortunately, yesterday morning, Vic passed away. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Vic, passing our <laughs> friend Vic, did not get a lot of news coverage. But he went quietly, they say. And I'll miss the hell out of the guy. What a talent. He was great, one of he the greats. One of the greats. Crying he went shame. quietly, they say, in the night. <laughs> Nothing, to, nothing could have been done to save him. 
His wife, so sad to see him go. And his children, too. Oh, dear dad. But life is um, tenuous at best. Life is tenuous at best. We hold on as hard as we can, and it's not easy. It's not easy to get up in the morning, walk on down to the salt, the salt mines. Vic worked hard, he worked damn hard, but he couldn't stop from eating those breakfast burritos. He used to go every morning to this spot around the corner. He used to tell me every day, gotta come down and, you gotta come down and try these breakfast burritos, boss. Say, Vic, you're gonna kill yourself with those things. Sausage, eggs, high cholesterol, cheese, oils, cooking oils, lattes. No way, boss. No way, boss. <laughs> oh, Vic. What are we gonna do without you? Saturated fats. I'm just goofing, Vic's alive. Barely though, apparently he's been throwing up like a child would. He's got another child vi a chi children's, vi children's style virus. Not me! I'm the last man standing. I'm my, my uh, I tell you, everybody I know has gotten COVID. You had it. I had it. Everybody's gotten it. Everyone gets sick and people are weak. Not me. Me and DJ T, Donald Trump, DJ T, the original Donald Trump, not DJ Jr. He's probably sick all the time, vomiting into toilets everywhere he goes, thinking about, thinking about his life. I don't like this reverb setting, do you? <laughs> I think it needs a little work. Well, let's get into it. You know, but Matt, I do feel it is a little empty back there. A little there. quiet. It's a little quiet. A little bit. I want to say... Um, Vicky Farewell is here, and she is right here in my eyesight, and there is a microphone, so let me welcome you to the show. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks thank you for, for having me. Thank you for um, laughing at my Vic's dead joke. Oh. <laughs> I think that lightened the mood in here. It kind of made, it made everything okay. It just kind of it said, okay, this is going to be a good show. Yeah. It'll yeah. still be fun. Yeah. You need that first <laughs> laugh with that kind of joke to say it's okay. <laughs> it's okay to laugh about everything. I don't have, I don't have, I'm not one of these comedians that has uh, lines that I won't cross. You know, <laughs> everything's fair game. Um, but I do feel like you're not, you're a musician. You're I'm a musician. A, just a beautiful piano player. You're playing on this beautiful piano here. You're warming up on your, on your whirly. Yep. You got your whirly here. Mm -hmm. A lot of music heads know what a whirly is. It's a short term for Wurlitzer. Wurlitzer two hunch. Now you're not playing a Wurlitzer jukebox, are you? No. <laughs> it's a cheap, that would be a cheap, uh, oh, I play the Wurlitzer. Oh, yeah, cool, come on down. We'd love to hear you play. Guy shows up with a big Wurlitzer jukebox <laughs> and just puts quarters in, starts playing a whole lot of shaking going on. That would be a disingenuous person, I would think. <laughs> I mean, I did come in with a giant mystery bag. I like well, it was not a mystery to me, but I did like that you have a um, a dolly for your uh, yeah for your whirly. There's no way I could bring it in myself. No, it's smart. I'm thinking I need to <laughs> get more dollies thing. in my life. I need dolly everything around. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Matt, it is a little dry back here. Could it is a little dead. Who in, could we get? Right? Who's on the east side? I wonder if we could call somebody, get somebody in the the Doug chair at least. Yeah, maybe um, you can. Message, find somebody. What about those always sunny in Philadelphia guys? They're, they're, uh, they're, they seem to be around. I think they're. I think they record their podcast at the same time as ours. Oh, they do. They have mm. a podcast now also. Mm. <clears throat> Maybe. Um, what other? It was uh, like East Side, South Park, kind of cool. South Park, Trey, Trey, that and Matt of, Stone. Matt, let, Matt, Matt Stone doesn't seem to be doing much. Let him come down here and they're, they're jam kind of, with us. Uh, they're kind of cringe now, aren't they? Uh, <laughs> I don't think they're, they're cringe. Like cringe. No. I have I to talk about the word cringe. People are just <laughs> overusing that word so much right now. Little cringe, dude, because I talked about gun control. Cringe. Little cringe, dude. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> what about um? 
about those workaholics guys? They're so busy, all they do is work. <laughs> They're funny guys. Some They're of those East guys turn into right? alcoholics, apparently. <laughs> that's what many are saying. Yeah. But no, we should, yeah, uh, who's the one that's on, uh, the one that's on Righteous Gemstones, Adam Devine. We oh. used his... Um, He's like the short, nerdy guy, that Yeah, one? we used, we used, we had his pot drinks for our music night. That's right, cannabis that's right. Drinks. So he should do. He should Let do it, see, see if he's I'll around. Him. Let me message him real quick. By the way, we have flies in the uh, studio. <laughs> <laughs> and they're, they're everywhere. There's a dead body I buried a couple days ago that I think the flies have found. Um, see what? See if he's Brian, around. Let's see. He's not responding. What about? Well, you um, just texted him. Well, I mean, it's a live show. We don't have a ton of time. What about? What about the tall, nerdy guy? What about that guy? What's his name? Anders. Anders something. How about I him? Know. No, you know what we should ask is the guy with the big hair. Oh, the cool. guy? He's like the, the cool guy yeah. in workaholics, right? Yeah. See if he's around. Blaine, right? Blaine. Blaine Anderson. I think is his name. Let's see. In the meantime, let's we'll get somebody for that seat. In, in the meantime. Let me just say, what, else, what should I say? Oh, we got Blake. It's Blake, Blake. Anderson. Thank Sorry. you. Um, let's take a Zoomer, Matt, yeah, and welcome this community, that. this growing, robust, talented, artistic, Who's got a fun topic handsome, here? beautiful. Carmen, is that what that means? Does AO mean you have a good topic? And then I think Vic actually sent us a, an audio message, it seems. <laughs> Carmen, Great. are you there? Wait. Uh, Where in the world is Carmen? Yeah. Whatever your name is, huh? Hey, what's up? <laughs> Big fan. Hey, Carmen, how's it going, man? I'm good. I'm in the basement of my uh, best friend's house right now. <laughs> Have you just killed killed him? No, um, I'm looking for an apartment, and uh, he's housed me. So, oh, nice. uh, you know that. Yeah. I have to say, you seem like a little bit too cool of a person to be a fan of this show. What's going on here? Is this a setup? Uh, I'm not cool. Uh, <laughs> Let me I'm see what absolute... you're wearing. Let me see what your top looks like. I'm wearing a champion hoodie and matching sweatpants. I mean, Vicky, oh, yeah. what do you think? This guy seems pretty hip, don't you think? What part of town do you live in? Good question. Uh, I live in Buffalo, New York. Shout out Buffalo. Shout out my Buffalo folks. Hell yeah. Peace and love to Buffalo. God damn it. Totally. Yeah, thank you. Thank you all for that. Uh, uh, great talent. So. Well, Buffalo is not where the cool kids are, though. So we, we've cleared you. You can proceed. <laughs> I told you. Loserville. Yeah. <laughs> I like um, Buffalo. No, I mean, peace and love, of course. Buffalo is the best. But not exactly uh, an enclave of the hipsters, which is good. I'm trying yeah, to clear uh, out some of these beards. Okay? So you have the floor. How can I help you? Okay, yeah. Um, I guess I was just uh, going to go into um, the homelessness issue because uh, I'm looking for a place right now, and I just wanted to get political for a second. Okay. Um, we have a... Let's start. Yeah, this is the, listen, it's going to be a different vibe today. You're not going to get interrupted by... <laughs> shit like that. I'm glad. Uh, yeah, but, like, I don't know. I see it, and I see, like, bullshit, like, anti-homeless architecture, and that just... You know, oh, it vexes me. Well, yeah. let, that's a good entree for me to just say um, that in in this area in L.A., we have a terrible problem with homelessness. I mean, it's I don't know how to. I mean, I'm not exactly the best person to like know how to talk in the right language about it because I think that is important. But there's clearly a big problem where you have like people living. Uh, under bridges and in, com in tent communities along the sides of rivers. And um, there's this creep, this uh, mutant man named Rick Caruso running for mayor. <laughs> yep. Have you heard about this guy? He, he is... just sounds nasty. I don't, I don't know him, but he sounds disgusting. Well, he's responsible for a couple of places I like, but I have to say this. Uh, he is? The Americana. <laughs> oh, he yeah. developed... Yeah, he develops these mall, like uh, outdoor mall concept things uh, that we've, the, 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 the Grove is the big one in L.A. Yeah. Um, and uh, he's this, uh, I mean, he, he's this lifelong uh, Republican. Republican creep. Um, capitalist pig. Capitalist pig who uh, is running oh, for mayor as a Democrat. So it's a, so, and he's gotten all these, uh, these famous people to sign on to him, Wolfgang Pup. Puck and Snoop Dogg Snoop and Kim Dogg. Kardashian. Snoop Dogg? The chef? Wolfgang yeah. Puck? Uh, but really? he's, he's got some creepy, like, uh, dystopian visions for getting, you know, I think, you know, kind of like solving the homeless problem, which is going to be like making it, you know, 
throwing people in prisons, I guess, or something. Yeah, specifically, that's one. Or removing like all public yeah. benches or something. Yeah. So and he's fooling. You know, I was hanging out with some friends the other day, sort nice. of normal liberal people. <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty cool. And they were they just moved here and they were like, Oh, what you know, what's going on with this mayor? Caruso, yeah. right? He's the guy to vote for and we were like, No, yeah, no, yeah. he's he's a bad actor. Wolf he's, in sheep's clothing. Yeah. Any word from Blaine? Yeah. Blaine Villanueva. Yeah, wait, is actually I thought I heard a rustling out there. Oh, he's West, around? West is, is somebody at the door there? I just heard a ding dong. Hello. <laughs> Blake? Oh, Hello. Oh, here he is! Oh my God! Hey! Oh, what a per that's perfect! This is incredible! It. I, it. Hold on. I was like wandering around out there for a while. Just a what a what a per hey, hey. what perfect timing, Blake! Hey, thanks, buddy. Yeah, thanks good to for, meet you. Hey, thanks for thinking about me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> hey. we had a we had a, a guy out sick. You could sit there in the hey. in the in the. Wow! Wow, Blake Anderson. This is incredible. From many things, including the Workaholics and his own podcast, as I have it written down. For this what? For very, very coincidentally, just have random things written down. This is important, is the podcast. But you are here to back me up, brother. You I'm, are. I'm here, baby. You hello, are, everybody. Right? You, yeah. <laughs> hello, everybody. How, or you can how do are Doug's. We? You can do Doug's new thing, which is hey, hey. Is that um, good? Take, Thanks, Carmen. Take the next take twenty care. minutes to figure out those headphones. <laughs> believe me. <laughs> yeah. Listen, Buffalo boy. He's a Buffalo oh, sir. Carmen, soldier. Carmen, come back. Unmute again. I don't know I what to back. tell you. I only know is there's a systematic uh, wealth inequality. Uh, the housing housing is insane. It, it's impossible to afford to live anywhere unless you're of, of you know tr have tremendous amounts of money. It's incredibly stressful. There's a it's 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 a it's completely infected every part of life, including people that are well off who have to who live amongst people who are living on the streets. And that's the least of our problems. These poor people don't have a roof over their head. And why is housing so unaffordable? I mean, that's the question. Because we are not taxing the 1%. Yeah! Yeah. Let's tax them to fucking hell. You can make be their our, lives like 1% like like harder. You be our like, like, let them think 1% longer before they buy their Maseratis. Who? Oh. Hello, Let's that's just a take good the tag. Maseratis. I love a tag Maserati. Line. Maybe you can think for 1% longer, one microsecond longer before you <laughs> double up on your Maseratis or add a fourth pool. Who's this creep? Yeah, There's I... a creep in LA who's a hairdresser. Jazz oh, Dean. Jazz Dean. Oh, and now this is, listen, I don't want to pick on anybody in particular, but I will this guy. Look him up. Apparently he's buying four houses. You know why? Why's that? Because he needs four pools. You know why? Because his dogs need a pool. Oh my God. Come on. So this, there's a, obviously a problem. Can we not? I mean, there's lots of, the guns are a problem. Homelessness is a problem. I mean, I don't know. And Blake's here to I think solve them all. Yeah. Yeah. Blake, I'm that's throwing you in the deep me. end. Yeah, no. You're happy with the status Thanks, quo, Carmen. are you? <laughs> I just follow orders, sir. If you're an A's fan, you can't be happy with this, the status quo, right? We this team talk is, about that, too. I'd be happy to. Economics. How long do you think the A's have left in Oakland? Uh, maybe three years. Yeah. That's what I'm going with. At the most. At the most. They're done. It takes a no while. No one's to going get... to the games. Yeah, I think it's like literally 3,000 people. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we so, should get a we, uh, we should get a quick sound check on Blake's uh, yeah, soundboard. That huh? was great. Did you just hit that? Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay, did like that? we don't need Doug. Yeah. We don't need Vic. <laughs> That's right, baby. I'm tired of splitting the Patreon with them, Matt. Okay, let's boot They're them. out. Guest drops them in every week. That's gonna be like uh, Al Pacino and The Godfather taking out the five families. <laughs> we'll give these guests like a hundred bones. Call it a day. <laughs> Done. <laughs> <laughs> That's not nice. You know we love these boys. We know we love them. I mean, people get the wrong idea about me. That I'm some kind of monster. <laughs> Vicky, what's your first impression of me? Be honest. I was nervous coming in, but then you were so matter-of-factly to me that I was like, oh, it's yeah. going to be fine. Just a good He's a stud. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, um, listen, did I, did I help you out, Carmen? I'm... Um, Oh, sorry, I muted Carmen. That's all right. Carmen's great. Uh, a lot of things to get to. First off, we have some surprise gum. 
Mm. Uh, somebody said we. I've spoken publicly and honestly about my my love for gum, and I do think it was part of my weight loss journey that I'm on actually. And this is a little corny, but oh my gosh, cringe. <laughs> <laughs> weight loss. I there is like something value. I know people say, oh, there's microplastics and there's all such a shit in gum, but oh really? Yeah, huh. nothing. You can't have anything ev anymore, anybody. You know, you can't do. There's, everything's bad, but. Um, I do I do love a gum. Throw in some gum. And it does quen it does kind of satisfy my like urge to snack. Sure, yeah. And then you got gum in your mouth, you're not eating chips. You're looking <laughs> good keep, by the you're keep looking the chips out of the mouth. Are, you're looking like real good. Thank you. Tight. Man. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Are you work out? Uh, I do some I do some push ups, pull ups. More than that. You're doing PD on. PDX ninety. Right? <laughs> I did a few <laughs> rounds of PDX ninety, brother. <laughs> Uh, yeah. But so that's Pizza the straight. So I don't want my P.O. box filled with gum. Gets a little <laughs> sticky. Big gum is coming for you. Yeah, but somebody. Or stickers. Don't send us stickers. Somebody either. sent me this phallum gum. Michael, Michael Abeta. Wait, did, it's special so Turkish we're gonna gum. Do a, does it, you want to try it? Anybody yeah. want to try it? I would it? love yeah. to try phallum Whoop. gum. Oh, here, I'll try that again. Phallum? What? Fal Whoa, phallic phallic gum. Everybody. It's apparently special Turkish gum. Turkish gum, yeah. Hey, I want one too. Oh, sorry, man. Here, let me chew some and throw some. <laughs> no, thank you. This is this is an F. It's really hard. You're already out on it. Yeah. There's nothing in here. Oh, I get it. That, it's, it's opening up a little bit. Doesn't taste like anything. Mm -hmm. it doesn't taste like anything. It's this is flavorless gum. Mm -hmm. This is so unsatisfying. I Chris, you know about gum. it? Chris said it sculpts oh. your jaw. Whoa. That is weird. Yeah, it's like chewing like wax or something. Is this plastic? <laughs> it's microplastic. It's macroplastic. That's not edible paper, that inner wrapper. You took that off? Well, this is not cool. This sucks. <laughs> I want sucks. black cherry or grape or <laughs> spearmint I at the very least. Out. I do like the the texture, though. It's almost like an everlasting like mamba. Yeah. Or like I mean, a high chew. I have nothing positive to say about it. I was, look, I was searching for something. It's a zero. Chris mm. here knows mm -hmm. about it. What, Chris, what's the point of this gum? It, it's supposed to give your jaw definition, like it's a like a jaw workout. Mm. I mean, <laughs> isn't any gum? What's the, what's the difference? Because it's a little tighter. I think it's stronger. Like it's uh, mm. yeah harder to chew, right? I've never had it. I've only heard about it. Did you send this to me? No. no. <laughs> Where's the rat? Where's the Benedict Arnold that sent this? To Michael Abeta, are you here? I don't think he's here today. Okay. Well. Does everyone have their wrapper so they could dispose of it properly? Yeah. Yeah, because I don't think people want to hear you like chewing, right? No. That's something people really hate. They, they like eat. the wrappers, though. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so come come and sit by the fire with me. It's a jaw workout. So you work out your jaw for what, like? For better yeah. definition. Oh. It's a yeah. Hollywood secret. I see. Okay. Like, so you can be speaking of jaw workouts. This <laughs> Tom this Cruise, he's done it again. <laughs> I tell you what, so today is a big day. Celebrating, my wife and I, celebrating 15 years of the good stuff Yay. today. 15 years of holy matrimony. Congrats. And uh, it's, uh, we looked at the old schedule, we looked at the old planner as we do, so we can get this going on, what's going on Thursday? And uh, we decided to do our celebration on Saturday night. And I said, what do you want to do, sweetie? The world is your oyster. Wow. And I go, and she goes, oh, I don't, you know, she's very low key. She's not, she's just, these anniversaries and birthdays and holidays, she does not give a shit about them. Mm. She's smart. She's not dopey like people can be, <laughs> where they get all attached to these days. Right. Like it matters. <laughs> she goes, I don't know, let's just go out, see a movie, and go get some dinner, like a dinner and a movie. Sounds nice. I go, nice. what do you want to see? She goes, I don't care. I go, I'm looking for my angle here. I go, how about Top Gun? She goes, sure. I go, hey, oh, I married the right gal. Hey, after all these years. <laughs> have you seen it yet? I have not. Oh, Lord. I've heard great things. Fantastic movie. A lot One of, of the fun. top movies of the year. Nice. A lot of fun. I, had, we, I mean, it was beautiful. We went, at, we went on the early side because I thought, here's the move. You don't go dinner, then a movie. You go movie then a dinner, oh, Ooh, yeah. right? That's right. Because then you sit at dinner and talk about the movie. Then you got something to talk about. <laughs> Let's give them something <laughs> to talk about. Yeah. Give it. That, give that to me an A. Rocket, man. Let's give them something to talk about. Talk about love. Something. 
something like that. <laughs> right? That's yes. really good. We got a picture of you from the uh, from the theater there. Oh, for sure. I mean, that. I'm totally irony free. We sat there. I'm. An, I'm not. I don't have high expectations for Top Gun, but mm. I know when. And listen, Tom Cruise is a psycho. He's a maniac. He's a. He's a member of one of the worst cults in the history of cults, right? He's had. I mean, has he had people killed? I don't know. I'm, who knows? People have been certainly put in prisons of their own design, you know? Mental prisons. Him and Miscavige. Misca I'm sorry, and you're a Scientologist, and I apologize yeah, for putting I mean, you Am I just spot. supposed to sit here and take it? I don't know. <laughs> but the guy knows how to make a motion picture is Tom Cruise. He certainly does. When they put out the Mission Impossibles, I'm there. He comes at, come to, comes at me with Top Gun. I'm in the seats with my popcorn. Cocktail. Great cocktail. Film. But Cocktail 2's got to be coming now, I right? hope so. <laughs> I hope so. But he, they went far and above. Like, first of all, we're laughing half the time because it's so ridiculous, the movie. Mm. It's so on, it's so like, you know, purely uh, what it is. It's not like just lots of shots of him riding a motorcycle in the <laughs> sunset with his perfect body. Gorgeous. And, but the, the flying and the stunts and the whatever, the, you know, all the action and stuff is so goddamn well done. Well, you just have to just look, sit back and go, he's done it again. He does the stunts, too. That's Dude, the thing I watched this Tom. whole thing about it. They, the, him and the actors all are up in those planes. Yeah. Now, there's another pilot in front. Yeah. So there's a two-seater deal. But they're back there. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> he's really, some G-force. Yeah, the, the G-force is like one of the big things in the movie. And there's there's lots of grunting in it because like a lot of the movies are them going like, it's those ADR sessions. Yeah, Tom, can we get you to grunt again, please? Yeah. We should we gotta get a grunt uh, montage from the movie from uh, Doug and Vic when they get back. <laughs> Holding on, and then they black out because it's too fast. Yeah. It's intense. Lose your lunch. It's funny that the the uh, Fox News and all those maniacs, they went all nuts because it's like, it was a number one movie, and they're like, we're back. You know, this is a patriotic, finally a patriotic movie, mm. and it's about America. And then people are like, actually, there's like barely mention of America. There's mm. almost no American flags. There's no enemy defined. There's like this, like it's sort of yeah. kind of <laughs> winking that it might be like North Korea, because you know, like, hey, huh? <laughs> like if you use your imagination, you could figure it out. But it's it's so like neutral, um, but you know, it's it's about the Navy, I guess. That's what it's really about at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> it's about the Navy. <laughs> Want to get into a city of the day? How about these? This navy with the with oh, most sorry. of the deal is their planes. It's like a lot of water. Yeah, it's like I thought you guys were all about water and boats. Maybe now you're doing planes. Okay. Maybe that's Marines. So the Air Force is sort of like, uh, hello, uh, what about us? Where's our movie? Yeah. Huh? Where's our movie? All right. Yeah. Let's do city of the day, Matt. I hear you. The city of the day. All right. Wow. All right. The city of the day is. Brought to you by Roberta Flack. Welcome to Re Roberta Flack, the new audio format from soul sensation Roberta Flack. These crystal clear files will be killing you loudly with superior fidelity and will instantly make you feel like making love to your speakers. Download the Roberta Flack player free today at robertaflack.com. That's robertaflack.com, not robertaflack.com, which is managed by Atlantic Records and is not affiliated with the Roberta Flack player. Also, please note that due to an ongoing copyright dispute with Atlantic, Mrs. Flack's albums aren't currently available in this format. But there's tons, <laughs> but there's tons of cool new music you can check out from up-and-coming bands like the Banana Boats, Regina Farkas, and tons more. Say hello to Roberta Flack and goodbye to inferior audio formats today. <laughs> the city of the day is Alyssa. Record, Alyssa Gibson, are you there? I'm here. Hello, Alyssa. Hello. Can you, you hear are. me? What is the city of the day? <laughs> Great Quickly, earrings. please. The city of the day is Ferndale, Michigan. Mm. All right. Tell us a little bit about where you live. Um, 
That's a great question. Don't know. I'm just kidding. It's part of Metro How many Detroit. Arby's? How many Arby's you got? Let's get to Arby's. I don't actually over think under. there is an Arby's. There's no Arby's. What? As far as I know. No Arby's. Wait, you're telling me you live somewhere without an Arby's? Nah. Well, there's a what lot of What do you do for lunch? <laughs> what the hell do you do for lunch? What do you do for lunch? Huh? There's a Wendy's. Oh, okay. That oh, makes sense. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Great American food. <laughs> Bet. All right. I well, like Wendy's. They got the square burger, right? That's the square <laughs> patty. You gotta and the make frosty. Sure it's square. And the frosty. Yeah, look, a uh, good Wendy's is good. Chili. But no Arby's. Huh. Go to no hell. Arby's. What about uh, Firehouse Subs? Mm. I think there's a Firehouse Subs. But I wish I could have that Jamoka shake. Jimmy John's? There's definitely Jimmy John's. Do you have 14 Subways? I think all the Subways close. What? Oh, there's a big backlash happening with subways right now, by the way. Uh, I'll talk about that Jimmy later John's in the show. Here. <laughs> is it Jared trickle down or just the bad vegetables? <laughs> Still kind of well, reeling it's like from that. The ber- worst deal in America is to decide to open a subway franchise. Anyways, I watched it on that, that John uh, Oliver show. He did a whole oh, yeah. 30 fucking minutes on it. <laughs> <laughs> just tearing oh, the yeah. subway to shreds. God. Leave him alone. God bless him, though, for, you know, bringing up the real issues. Um, all right. Well, thanks for your city of the day. Yeah, it sounds Can I say one thing of that course. somebody suggested? It is um, the second day of Pride Month, and Ferndale oh. is, like, the the uh, gay community, like, part of Detroit. There we go. There we are. Happy There's... Pride Day to everybody. Happy Pride Month. Yeah. Month. Pride whole month. month. We've got a whole month, baby. I just feel like, You're listen, okay, I love man. it. I love it, and uh, I support them. I support everybody. Not everybody. Yeah, you got some enemies. <laughs> I support marginalized communities. <laughs> but I don't, I'm just like, can we stop with the uh, singling out? Because I don't, I don't really want to, like, just, I, want, I just want everything, I want all the gay stuff to just be normal. Mm. It's just not something that we have to single out because it's, mm. but we're not there yet, obviously. Like, we're, we're, we're going, we're moving backwards. Mm. Look at some of these laws in Florida. <laughs> Folks, can't have it. Thanks, Alyssa. Um, <laughs> let's go a little further north. Scott in Canada. Scott, oh, oh my Canada. Canadian friends. Do they celebrate uh, Pride in Canada? Scott in Canada. You there? Hi. Can you see me? Oh my God! It's Whoa. Scott from the Kids in the Get Down. Get down. <laughs> We're under attack. Whoa! From the north, Scott. You son of a bitch. How you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm all right. Wait, okay. That doesn't sound good. Well, Wait. I mean, I'm, this is a lot of people to suddenly see. I didn't see <laughs> all these other three. I don't feel comfortable with them. Well, let's there's get to the, know each other. No, and there's this one guy. He's got the hat on and the long hair. There's two of them. There's like, he's twins. I did, I'm not comfortable with twins. Let's, Sorry. Scott, can, can you do a, a rough count of the beards that you're seeing right now? How many beards are you looking at? You mean how many women are pretending to uh, to be with men that are gay? Like, <laughs> I see one, no, no. one beard at the bottom right. I see this woman. She I has mean, a beard, obviously. I Her mean actual beards, gay. Scott. Actual facial beards. I don't see any beards, really. Do you call what you have a beard? Me? Yeah. Um, that's a, it's an outgrowth, an outcropping of facial but hair. But an outgrowth... I, I would see something like that on Dr. Pimple Popper. That's, now, can that a, be can it be treated? I have, a, a, I have a question about your camera angle. Am I turkey dinner? Am I am I your meal? Because it, it looks like I'm about to be eaten. Is this is this the the perspective of a turkey that's about to be eaten or yeah, stuffed? I think okay. so. Yeah, a little bit of both. <laughs> How well, are you? I'm okay. With it. I'm a little. I'm a little confused because I just. I just uh, got on because I didn't have. I'm on my. I'm on, I, on an iPad, so okay. I'm pretty excited. So I got. I had to just uh, put on the Zoom um, the app. So oh, this is why that's the, frustrating. The, the, the the POV is really weird, isn't it? It's definitely me looking down with contempt at a turkey, <laughs> as you should towards me. Well, I'm looking at the Pope's nose. Do you know what that is on a turkey? Do we say that anymore? No. What's the Pope's <laughs> nose? Pope's nose is what uh, Protestants in the, in my country used to refer to the uh, turkey's anus as. Oh, and, <laughs> why would it's it, the best? Why the would they call the Pope's nose? Where because is that? it's they, they hate Catholics. I mean, there's the whole Catholic oh, Irish, I you know, see. Catholic Protestant thing. Right. And uh, 
So I would love the asshole of the turkey. It's an incredibly juicy um, part. <laughs> and I would always beg my mom to save me the Pope's nose. And apparently <laughs> you're not supposed to say that, but she would save me the, she saved me the neck and the Pope's nose. I, I would this think you could where... take the neck and fuck the Pope's nose <laughs> okay. with it if you wanted to. Now we're talking. You, you absolutely, yes, it, you have, I have. You, you have could, to. You, could, you gotta remove the Pope's nose first, then you've got a much larger cavity, and then you can stick the whole thing in neck. <laughs> I mean, what can't you fuck these days, right? I mean, that's. Now, the... this is the thing. You can fuck anything but an ideology, anything but that. <laughs> you can fuck with anything but a person's point of view. You can't fuck with that. No. You must never fuck with their identity. You have to because... respect all. All identities, regardless, you must. You can only fuck with. You can fuck holes and orifices and things like that, but not, not, not points of view. Them, not in their point. No, because that's precious. Well, it's interesting we'll because it, we call it a point of view. It's not a whole of view. There we go. It's not a whole of view. <laughs> it's not a whole of view. It's a point. It's right. A point in a hole, and there are million, literally trillions of points in a hole. Right. Well, that's getting I mean, that's a little physical. metaphysical. Yeah, my goodness. Well, that's quantum. That's quantum mechanics. I know that. So listen, um, you've got a I'm you and the kids. You you and the you and the kids in the hall are back. Right, but I need to talk about the guys behind you. Okay. Because he's so insecure. I don't know. Who, I know. I know. I know. I'm not. No. 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 You're not getting away. You're not going to wave and suddenly, you know, oh, everything's good. It's not good. <laughs> This guy behind you is so insecure yeah. about his identity, about who he is, that there are three of him. There's him behind you, then the top right corner, there he is again. And then he's oh, on the bottom left, and the poor woman at the bottom right <laughs> has one fucking frame. Because this guy is so insecure, he's got to be in three fucking boxes. I don't want to know. I see. I see. He's looking, yeah, it's, it's and a And you mess. know what's weird? He's in the drummer position. There's no drums. No. He's not playing fucking drums. <laughs> right? Like this is your that's your band leader's position, right? Tim? Yeah. He's I know. not playing anything. No. I'm well, kidding. he is. Play something on your iPad yeah, there. Listen yeah. to this. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> this is Blake Anderson hey. from the Workaholics, by How the way. Are you? He was very famous at, for a period of time. Yeah, you re and you read me like a book. Thank you. Look at, I got roasted this, by a legend. Everybody in this Zoom call was famous at one point. So, <laughs> right? Even you, Tim, you were famous at one At one point, you were the white hot center of something. I know. <laughs> what happened, man? What, what do you do when it's over? Because it's over for me. I'm on the other you side of kept, it. You made a mistake. You kept following your muse. <laughs> mm. Don't do it. Don't do it. I should have come yes. to you for guidance and counsel. Why didn't I? Because... <laughs> You know, you were so kind to us. You come in, came in and did our show yeah. years ago. And you, you hung around and you made us All feel day. so loved and special because <laughs> you were like, a, you said you, got, you were a fan and I couldn't comprehend that. Huge. Are you kidding me? I was a massive fan. I considered Then I got that, political uh, and, you, and you bailed. Damn. I did, yeah. yeah. I, did. I, look, I just thought you were the only people that were uh, as good as us. Oh, my <laughs> God. Is, uh, I mean, yeah, do you know what that, really. you understand what that means to, to me or to, to us. I mean, that's just. But it, it's so, the same so, with me. Like, it's the same as me. When you asked me to be on the show, I was incredibly honored. Oh. And, and I also thought, that's why I decided I would stay all day. And I did stay all day, didn't I? Yeah. I did stay most of the day. <laughs> you were. Uh, I, oh, I, yes. I miscommunicate. I, I misunderstood. I thought you were incredibly honored to do this show. And that sounded very confusing to me. Because I thought, oh, no, why no, would no, you be? You're no. not honored to do this, right? <laughs> No, not at all. <laughs> uh, but I am curious about the woman in the bottom right. Hi there. We haven't spoken or anything yet. Hi. Yes, this I, is Vicky Farewell. Uh, she's a musical hi. artist who's going to blow up. And she's, and she's married to a gay man, obviously. <laughs> um, no, but it's you. <laughs> you're the beard here, right here. So, um, are you um, about to blow up? Mind. Are you about to blow up? Because you're getting that from Tim Heidecker, who says that he was supposed to blow up years ago. Never did. Oh, oh Jesus. So. Scott, you know what? This is nasty. <laughs> this has gotten nasty. He's a roast master. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you look you look great. Can I just say that? You look great, even with the weird angle. Like, I don't think that you have a bad angle. 
I hate to interrupt, but we have someone else uh, on the line who uh, has some sort of objection to no, Scott's we're, presence we're not here. bumping no, him, that's are not we? Fair. You can't the, bump him. At the beginning of Pride Month, you, we have an objection. That's <laughs> not right. Dave, <laughs> Dave, are you there? It better not be Hello? a cisgender Hello? straight white. Wait, wait. Can you hear me? Dave? Am I, am I, on, am I on the air? Am I yes. on the air? We're on, we on have you, Dave. Oh Do we have Dave? <laughs> Hi. 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 Uh, can we, can, is there a way to halt the proceedings uh, just briefly? <laughs> Uh, so wait, oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Uh, I'm sorry. I got an, an alert. Um, I got a text alert that Scott was on uh, your show. Yeah. And was discussing the kids in the hall. And uh, that is in violation of kids in the hall bylaws. Wait a minute. Uh, because Scott, Scott uh, knows this. He does not have quorum. You must have at least three members of the kids in the hall to create quorum in order to discuss the kids in the hall in any context. So, uh, Scott, we're a little... Uh, and, uh, and by the way, hi. Uh, hi, Dave. Um, hi. Um, I'm sorry. How do you pronounce your name? Tim Heidecker. <laughs> Tim. You Tim. Say. Yeah, Tim. 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 Okay. Tim. All right. Not Tim. It's not. It's Tim. Tim. All right. So Scott. Tim, Scott, let him uh, speak, please. <laughs> yeah. So Tim, uh, I, I've, been, I've been on. I, look, I'm trying to fix this. I've, I've been trying to get uh, one of the other kids in the hall on a text to give me uh, his proxy so that we could actually form a quorum. Uh, but so, until that comes in, I'm afraid neither Scott or I can discuss anything. Oh, boy. Oh, wow, okay, he's a stickler. <laughs> so I, so you guys have procedures oh, in place and rules and by bylaws and stuff to keep more than one of you from talking about the kids in the hall in any forum? Huh. Uh, I'd love to answer that question because it's the answer is very interesting. Uh -huh. Okay, <laughs> so Scott, can you just stand by? So you're yeah. working on getting a permission from like who? Uh, Mark I, either or Ke Bruce? Kevin or, or Mark Kevin? or Bruce. Maybe yeah. maybe uh, they've seen I, Top Gun. Maybe they want to talk about Top yeah, Gun. Yeah, I'd love to talk. I mean, you don't have to talk about the kids in the hall, Scott or Dave. I mean, we could talk about. Oh, I'm just here to show off my standing desk. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> have you noticed how I'm? Look at that. Yeah, <laughs> it's great. It's great. I would. Hey love guys, guys, guys! I have good news. Okay. I have I have uh, Kevin McDonald's uh, proxy. Oh, perfect! Okay. <laughs> so okay. we can proceed. Yeah, we can just, is, we can tell you anything you want about. Can you can you now. stick around then, Dave, and talk? Or is it, sure, we, I I kind of I kind of have to. Even if I don't talk, I have to stick around because otherwise Scott's not allowed to talk. Oh, I see. And Dave and I and, aren't allowed to speak together. I'm only allowed to speak with Kevin or. Bruce ah! Oh, wait a minute. That's a real rule. I just got to cross up my guy. <laughs> wait, that's. Oh, is it is it Pride Month? It Pride is month, day two. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Well. uh... Which I can't remember who's gay. Um, I think it's not the, not Scott, <laughs> right? Or Scott or Bruce or who can remember? Well, I know one of I know one of the kids in the hall is gay. We switched it around. It's, it's gone around it. so much. Yeah, I know. You know, it was embarrassing. The other day, I was having sex with a man, and I remembered it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the same with okay. me. I was fucking. Wait a minute. I was fucking a woman the hey! other day, and I went. Oh, this is no. a family show, all right? Let's clean it up. Yeah. This is a morning show. But you know what? I had sex with her on May 31st, so I would never have sex with a woman in Pride Month. That would be. Oh so no, bad. that would be. That's yeah. blasphemy. In fact, no one should. No one should have sex. Oh, unless you're an, also a woman. No. Unless you're a woman, you know. Yeah. Here's the yeah. thing. I might be the only gay member, but at the same time, I'm the least proud. So that's why I'm not allowed to speak during Pride Month. They're all because you know straight people are much more proud now than gay people are of yeah. Pride Month. Well, so also your 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 motion sickness keeps you out of parades. <laughs> There's that. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to interrupt because I get I get complaints from people that say I interrupt too much when the good guests are on. So I'm just gonna show, I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. Oh no, but oh but Tim, yeah. it's your show. Okay. So, um, well, so, tell no, me. You should interrupt. As much as possible. Um, and by the way, uh, love workaholics. Thank there you. Is. Is. Thank you. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. All right. Yeah. That feels really, really good to our, hear. What are you guys' really are thoughts on the Three Stooges? <laughs> <laughs> similar, similar kind of show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where would did, we be without them? Did Canada when have a, Did Canada have like a Three Stooges, uh, like a boom in the '80s, like we had, where it became like. People, there's lots of merch, lots of Three Stooges merch. The three knuckleheads. Yeah, well, we get, we, get, we, we get all American things. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. we, get it, we, get it, we get it precisely five minutes later. Right. Uh, <laughs> we're always five minutes behind whatever you guys are up here. <laughs> but let me see. Did you like the Three Stooges, Dave? I'm forgetting if you did I not. didn't like the Three Stooges. I don't want to upset anybody. Sure, I sure. Don't, 
Uh, but two, I was not. I was. I was a huge Marx Brothers fan. Right. So there we go. You're too I'm academic. You're too. You, uh, it's too lowbrow for you, the Stooges. Uh, I. You know, it's just violence upsets me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I, they I, were incredibly I violent. This, I spent all my, I have too much empathy. I spent all my time flinching and crying. Uh, who am I supposed to enjoy that? <laughs> it cut too close to home. I was saying last week, I accidentally, my, my son is five, and we sometimes do watch Three Stooges, but the one I opened oh. on YouTube, and the one I opened on YouTube was, uh, of course, during, the, during World War II, and oh. it was incredibly racist. Oh, it was incredibly oh, yeah. anti-Japanese <laughs> oh. in very shocking ways. So you I find a lot of that it, in though. Bugs Bunny, too. There's a yeah. lot of... Uh, yeah. This... Jing jingoistic. Yeah. Um, oh, flies are here. Listen, <laughs> I don't want to waste your... What, Dave, you're in New York? I am. I'm in uh, New, York, New York City. You, you've been very fact. public about this relocation, I've noticed, on, on Twitter. Yes. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Tim, for bringing that up. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Big well, broadcast. I'm, hoping, Big I'm hoping more people will stop me in the street and hug me. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Well, they will after this new Kids in the Hall reboot on Amazon Prime. Cool. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't know. <laughs> really? Oh, Are you getting God. hugged a lot, Dave? Uh, no, I don't leave the apartment. No, uh, <laughs> Are you gonna be? Are you are you uh, gearing up for like a Broadway show? Like, why New York? What's happening in New York? I, you know, it was just I've been living in Los Angeles for twenty six years, and uh, you know, and uh, as luck would have it, my life was falling apart. So I thought, why not New York? <laughs> it seems a healthy place uh, to relocate. Yeah, yeah. Are you you and Woody, sort of a... you you like connecting with Woody Allen and walking around the park, talking about uh, old foreign <laughs> yeah. films and stuff. We just yeah, and a lot of going. They just don't understand. Yeah, they just don't get it. Jesus, yeah. Dave. Um, <laughs> And you're going to Knicks games with uh, Spike Lee, of course. Oh, and... yeah. The New York lifestyle is, yes. yeah, it's wonderful. CBGBs. <laughs> 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 well, and Broadway, Dave Broadway. Oh, Broadway. the great white way, as they used to call it. I just heard a giant yeah. fart. Was that you? Sorry. <laughs> I know, it's oh, a little lowbrow. Pause, pause for farting. I yeah. do. I want to just speak sincerely for a moment and say what, I mean, I know you've heard this a lot, but the... Um, the reboot, or season six, whatever you want to call it, is so great. And we had Julie Klausner on the show last week, by the way. Yes. And um, yes. she spoke briefly about how wonderful you all are, and I'm sure she put... That's as, that's as much as she could muster. I, I was going to say, she, she yeah. probably put a bit of a positive yeah. spin on it, you know, oh, she did. through the radio. She, yeah. I could see her running out of things to say. Uh, <laughs> that would break a clause that she signed, yeah. <laughs> the Julie Claus. The Julie yeah. Claus Klaus, the Klausner. Um, but <laughs> I I saw this a lot on Twitter, which was people saying as when that theme song kicked in, it was an emotional experience. Yeah, that that was upsetting. We didn't yeah, want in, that in a, <laughs> a, in a negative way. I go, oh yeah. no, not this song again. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's but, nostalgic. Yeah. That's embarrassing. No, it was beautiful, and it reminded me. Obviously, it just kind of immediately threw me back into the days when that was my obsession was your show, and. It, the show in general just reminded me what like great filmmakers and writers you are that I I don't know I didn't think about or whatever but I mean there's I don't want to go on and on about it but it's just well, it's it so appear, beautiful. Kim, can I ask you something? Yeah. Did it make you question your wig choices My during wig? Um, your heyday? Did you wish that you'd had better wigs? Mm. <laughs> did you did you did you look out and go wow we really fucked up the wigs? The wigs, we yes. Done, yeah, I thought you said, wigs. you know what? I had an audio issue. I thought you said my weight choices. And I was like, wow, okay. We're going there, huh? I was a little pudgy. <laughs> I would have said wardrobe choices. I wouldn't have said pudgy. I would have said your wardrobe choices for your frame at the time. Right. Well, we had terrible, we had no money. I'm sure you guys didn't have any money either, but we had just like the worst stuff that you could, the stuff from the Halloween store. That's about all we had access to. <laughs> yeah, I saw your, I saw your uh, stories you did. It was quite something. It yeah. was fun though. <laughs> it was really fun. We did this one shoot and I had a bald cap on and it was so bad. It looked just like a big scar across my head. And I we're remember. like, we can't shoot this today. Like we're going to have to re we're going to have to just shoot me from behind and redo it tomorrow. It was so bad. We didn't know what we were doing, but. Yeah, um, we had some ball paint problems on the new show. We, had, really? we did, Dave, and, and fast food problems too. A well, little bit. You know yeah. what the problem with the with the with the bald cap stuff is now the cameras are so good, like yeah. everything you you see everything you see every little detail. So, 
Oh, you know what? You know who's here? You wanna, you guys would like this a lot. Uh, we have a, a, a guy named, uh, an animal named Duck. Can we ask, have Duck come in and say hi? Just say hi to Duck real quick. Can you see Duck? Sure. Hi, hi Duck. Is Hello? Duck I don't see Duck. Where's Hello? Duck? Hello, Duck. Where's Duck? Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi, uh, hey. I don't oh, oh, there's Duck. Duck. There you see Duck? Okay, my good. Now. Hello, Duck. My, my gosh, you are sweeties. It's nice to talk to you. Uh... By the way, I want to say, nice penis choices. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, thank you. They weren't, they, weren't, they weren't entirely choices. No. Uh, oh. Kevin and I were just born with them. Uh, <laughs> although, you know, okay. modern science, uh, you, I mean, soon we will all be able to choose every appendage <laughs> and yeah. swap them out. I was, uh, I was annoyed that um, people were tweeting about that moment because I felt it was such a genuine, shocking, wonderful surprise when that happened <laughs> that I was like, people were like, spoiler alert, you're gonna see a lot of the kids in the hall. I'm like, don't, like d just let people yeah. have that experience, but whatever. I don't think, what yeah, people do? don't know, know that this, say, just saying spoiler alert, then immediately saying the thing <laughs> no, that's gonna spoil things isn't helping it's like, anybody. It's I not like people get, go, I, went, I got time. <laughs> I remember the time I was with a guy that I just stabbed to death and I said, I gave him a murder alert. But <laughs> he didn't take it seriously and they yeah. still arrested me. So, Duck, is, Duck know, was there anything else? Uh, well, that I agree that it's been a fantastic uh, breath of fresh air lately. Oh my gosh. Thank you for making it. Thanks for taking the plunge out of the Thank grave. you, Duck. Thank you, okay. Duck. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. yeah. What, duck, what's Duck been up to? What have you been up to, Duck? Thank you. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, trying to find solid food source. Mm -hmm. Uh... <laughs> You mean, to, a, you mean a, you mean a steady food source or a source of solid food? <laughs> um, I don't know, just something that won't give me diarrhea. Uh, what, does, uh, what, what do you say to people that throw the little bits of white bread at you? What do you say to those people? I say, yeah. no! <laughs> but then you Don't eat you it anyway. You can't signs. resist. You can't yeah. resist. And it's terrible. <laughs> causes bloating. And it there's no nutrition in it. I you know what, like Doc? I, I was thinking what? about your diarrhea problem, mm -hmm. and maybe mm -hmm. the real problem is that you don't have an orifice to excrete the diarrhea, and so it just builds oh. up in you. Yeah, you should have some of your animator there. draw a little hole at the back so you can get rid of all that diarrhea, wow. and that might help you. Wow, you, that. <laughs> yeah. you really went deep into the, the reality <laughs> so, of the situation. Like, are we talking <laughs> like, <laughs> like this, or... Uh, Wait, can we do a uh, live... Wait, wow. is that too explicit? That, that would, yeah. You can no. do a live drawing. Is that too so explicit? You need, <laughs> so you need to draw, I think, I believe we're discussing a cloaca needs to be added. Cloaca, mm. thank you, Dave. Yeah. Cloaca is the vagina and the anus. You know that that's yeah. happening. Right? Oh my God. All right, listen. <laughs> Anyways. Dave, I got to move uh, well, things along. Okay, we'll work on that. <laughs> Did you ever hear about that famous story about Marlon Brando fucking a duck at, you know, a sex club in Morocco? No, please do tell. <laughs> well, this is a very famous story that Wally Cox used to tell when he wasn't um, uh, being blown by Marlon Brando. One time they were in, a, they were in Marrakesh and they were, uh, they were going to sex clubs and they went to a club where you would fuck a duck through its cloaca, which is the combination of vagina and anus. In the moment you were about to orgasm, they cut the duck's head off. Jesus oh, Christ! Wow. And, and, and the spasms would give you an incredible orgasm. And apparently, and, but they would, but they would shout "spoiler alert" to the duck first. Yeah. <laughs> spoiler alert! But apparently, it ruined Marlon Brando for uh, normal sex because the orgasm was so intense he could never go back to regular sex. Oh Jesus! Wow. Would you be able to? Uh, sure. Corroborate? I, I just, I don't think I'd be able to fit, perform. Oh no, you, you know, would. Yeah. You know, know if I knew I the duck was going to die. I'd, yeah, I'd, I'd shrivel <laughs> the, I'd shrivel right up. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> be in full but there's retreat. an audience. Would you really? But I, there's people watching, so you might be able to do it. Pull can we, off. can we get Angie Dickinson on the line to confirm this story? <laughs> 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 that is an incredible, incredible little bit of Marlon Brando trivia. Um, <laughs> it is because I made it up. So. Oh, oh, Jesus. Okay. Jeez. Yeah. I don't know I why I'm to... so gullible. <laughs> Jesus, you believe everything. Your drummer. You know what? Your drummer didn't even believe it. You know what made <laughs> yeah. me think it was real for some reason? This is where my brain went. I immediately pictured that scene in Godfather 2 where they go to that sex club with the woman and the donkey or whatever. <laughs> mm, and I was yeah. like, oh, yeah, I guess it's one of those things. Who knows? Yeah. That's, that's true. Yeah. <sighs> that's so Brando. I love you guys so much. I really, 
Jeez, you're just the best. What am I going to say? What am I supposed to say? Blake, I mean, you take over. You just over. worship at the altar. I mean, it's amazing. I can't believe the kids are back. It's so great. The guy, the, the show is great, guys. Well, you know what? Before we forget, because this is live, right? I should say that if you, other what? people that are in live? New York, uh, Bruce McCullough is doing a, a, is doing a run of his one man show at the Soho yeah. Theater in New there York. There we go. Starting to, starting uh, last yesterday night or tonight. Yesterday, starting yesterday. Yes. I'm going well, tomorrow. That's very supportive of you. I, I, that's a very you supportive are. act of you to promote somebody who doesn't even isn't even bothered to call in. Yeah, hasn't even I know, bothered yeah. to. Yeah. Like, I know. But you know, we're respect. not supporting Kevin. We're not supporting Kevin. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. Thank you. Kevin yeah. said he was going to be here, but then he's he's rehearsing some musical or something. There's something going on with what? him. Oh, then oh, then he should be here because mm. he shouldn't do that. Right. Mm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, he says no, he's I'm... not very musical, so I don't know. Well, at least... No, no, um, not there. <laughs> Matt, my producer was telling me that you guys had terrible weather when you were making this show. <laughs> well, it wasn't what? just us; the That's whole what? city, <laughs> the whole city had it. Okay, yeah, it's not like we go around with our own weather. I mean, no, we I think that. Just, well, you understand yeah. what I meant, though. I think. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> did we have terrible weather? I, I can't remember. I, I noticed remember. rain in a lot of like scenes. That? I did Is that what your rain. research people told Matt? That talk about the weather, the terrible weather in Toronto. Was and it raining me, a lot? This wasn't one of those like lame talk show things that someone has like on a blue card for me. It was just it just came up in my mind because he had mentioned it. It's not like I have yeah. rent. I don't. <laughs> did it rain a lot? I don't remember. I don't remember it raining a lot, Dave. Do you remember it raining a lot? I don't know. I don't remember much. All right. Well, this will be the part uh, we clip out for the. Uh... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know. This is what I was here for. The other part. I like onset weather. Talk. Well, wait a minute. How's the weather now? Yeah. There we <laughs> go. Oh, well, we had a wonderful thunderstorm here in New York last night. Oh, uh, you just... don't get that in L.A. No. No. Could use. Some... Where are you, Tim? Are you guys in L.A.? I'm in Glendale. Oh, you're in Glendale. Glendale. That's L.A. Glendale, the increasingly California. hip Glendale. Yeah. I know it's, it? it's becoming very yeah, oh hot. yeah man oh yeah it's, it's Glendale's yeah Glendale's a great little city yeah, wow. yeah. Jewel City Scott yeah is it Jewel City yeah but but Scott you're in Toronto right I am yeah yeah I just I want to get you the weather I want to get lunch with you man come on I love that why don't you aren't you ever coming up here and doing stuff I'm doing a show in in Toronto uh, yes in July so I'll be I'll oh then I'm gonna come to oh. that okay. okay I'm gonna write it down let me just let me write this and Dave down. if you want to come up to Toronto for that as well you're invited you'll be <laughs> just right saying. bit of a commute but all right oh yep. we'll take care of you really? we'll all get right. you on the Greyhound bus or uh, <laughs> Yeah. I'll do you're, it. Not doing New, you're not doing your show in New York at all? Or? I, uh, well, yes, I am, but those are really <laughs> like a big guest list. Those are expensive that. tickets? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tough to get well, in. Guest list is pretty tight right now. All right. Woody's coming Tim. and, you know, <laughs> Woody and the fam, all his yeah. kids. All the kids Tim, he's still be, speaking with. Oh, God. Will you still, will this be with your band, Tim? Yeah, well, I'm doing stand-up and then my band. Yeah, we're doing it's an, an okay, evening. Man. It's almost like Bruce McCullough's one-man show. With them. Oh, good. What's your band called, anyways? The Very Good Band. Tim Heidecker and oh, The Very Good Band. There we like, go. You know. I'm going to oh, put the, you on the yeah. list right now, plus one, Scott. Okay. Do people show up expecting to... the Matthew Good Band? Uh... <laughs> Wait, who's the Matt? Who's <laughs> What is that? Is he Canadian? I can't remember. Maybe that's, maybe that's I Canadian. He's Canadian. Or is it Matthew Sweet? That's Matthew Canadian. Sweet? Well, no, no, Matthew remember. Sweet's American. He's oh, he's wonderful. Yeah, he's wonderfully American. More like Matthew Sauer. Oh. These days, <laughs> there we go. These days, with his attitude These about days. things. <laughs> um, all right, I want to let I'm going to let you go. What? You've done enough for us. <laughs> you've done enough. You've you've served our, you've served your country admiral ab, admirably. I watched that documentary. That was fucking great too. Oh, oh thanks. Yeah, that was. Yeah. Do you, yeah, that do you was like? Hard. Do you, let me ask you this. Do you would you did you watch it? Is it weird yes. to watch it? We watched it together in Austin. Wow. We watched it together. Yeah. And yeah, at the at South by Southwest, which was that was weird. Yeah. <laughs> Very weird. Four of the four of the five were moved to tears. Yes. During it. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Who didn't cry? <laughs> Who didn't cry? Four of the five. Who do you think didn't cry? Uh, Mark. Yes. yes. Good guess. <laughs> I mean, he said yes. it in the documentary. He's the like, <laughs> I don't <laughs> cry. Yeah. No, yeah. He doesn't not cry. Boy, he really, I didn't know much about him, but in the documentary, he really comes across as this guy who's just kind of like, I don't give a shit about anything. It's like, yeah, it's a, know. it's his Patricia. You still don't upbringing. find out much about Mark. Yeah, I've known Mark, what, what, I, we've known Mark, what, 40 years? And uh, I, 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 if you would ask me anything personal about Mark, I, all I could tell you was his height. That's it. <laughs> 
<laughs> and even then, he would have a cease and desist order and start talking about his height. <laughs> You're talking to the open books. Dave and I are the open books. Yeah. The thing. Well, I remember, yeah. Scott, when you came to our studio so long ago, I mean, yeah, you did hang out a while, and we got a lot of info. We, we got a, we You're got not, the download. <laughs> you got a lot of those stories. You got the real shit. Yeah. yeah. You know. Doc thinks he has diarrhea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gentlemen, bo uh, kid. Uh, you must hate the word kids, though, right? <laughs> kids, you're do you're done with. Well, we're, no, it's funny again. Uh, we're right. we're, yeah. You guys seem it's, so. I love seeing guys who are like it's so. We had the band Pavement on a few weeks ago. Oh, you know, yeah, Pavement, wonderful right? band, great band. Yeah, and I loved this like couple of, like you guys and them like Gen X to the core. Uh, I don't. You guys probably are you. You're Gen X, right? Gen well, X technically, I, technically, no, not really. Right, I think but you, I'm on the I'm on the cusp. But you That's identify it, as, or you're yeah, weird. <laughs> Doug, Doug yeah, Copeland. Yeah. Doug Copeland said we're Gen X, so we right. are. But yeah. sort of this, like coming into like acceptance of about who you are and and yeah. what you've done and your in your careers and everything is just both. That that band certainly had it, and I see it in you guys. And it's just it's something that I hope I can have one day. Tim, are you saying that we exhibit a certain amount of grace? Mm. Grace is the word. Mm -hmm. Is that the mm -hmm. word? Grace. Grace. Yeah. yeah. That's the, and, and I'm hoping <laughs> gratitude. That you, you, Hashtag gratitude. 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 And I think yeah. that you, you're not quite there, Tim, but you're getting there. I'm yeah. fighting. It's a struggle. <laughs> and, we, uh, and again, it shows that we have done a wonderful job of concealing our sweaty desperateness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys play off well. Yeah, that's a good move. Uh, your, str your strategic stuff is, is impressive. I hope to emulate Strate it insincerely. Grace. <laughs> strategic grace. Good stuff. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> we learned from Meghan Markle, strategic grace. Yeah. Oh, and, and again, Another speaking of day. speaking, of course, of grace. Uh, happy uh, jubilee uh, for the Queen. Oh ah, yes, yeah. jubilee for the Queen. Scott, can we years. get a little Queen from you? Can, uh, Ew, just say, um, queen, again. congratulations on all these oh, wonderful I'm, years. I'm standing on my own two feet. Here we are. <laughs> yeah. Amazing, you're alive. Ah, oh. it is. <laughs> Did you read her tweet this morning? Fuck you, Victoria. That's all she said. Whoa. <laughs> Mic drop. <laughs> yeah. All right, gentlemen. Are you a fan, Tim, of the Queen? Um, I like that crown. The crown, that show, The Crown, was good. So I do, I do, I am, it does fascinate me. It's interesting. Well, don't you think that she exhibits a certain amount of grace? Mm. Strategic well, grace. Yes, I believe. Strategic grace. <laughs> <laughs> But she's made a mess of her own family. I mean, the, the proof is in like the the her uh, offspring and everything, right? Like, is it a, her fault or is it the fault of the children for demanding feelings? Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> there we go. See, they made the good point there. Tim, really, yeah. was it really her fault? I don't. It's the not royal her family fault. did we needed, fine for centuries should, without feelings. We should have hardened. We needed to have hardened the uh, the monarchy. That's why they're falling apart. We Absolutely. needed to harden it and add more doors. And more security out front. And yeah. we more have this. doors. Yeah. More <laughs> doors. The English didn't need emotions until Diana. No. And that kind of ruined everything. Yep. <laughs> but How, Dave and I are holding on. We're holding yes. on. We still don't need emotions. Mm -mm. I know. The, I know um, all I, what can I say? What is my closing remarks? Uh, it would be great to have the That's rest true. of you've you on to, next You've been time. trying to get us off for a while now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you brought a platinum jubilee, and that set me off. I know. <laughs> Goodbye! <There's> no <laughs> Get the hell out of here! Um, so long, uh, kids in the hall. For now, we'll see you sometime down the road. Until then, I will bid you adieu. Back to you. Uh, <laughs> All right, you're welcome anytime. Thank you. Thank you. This has been fun. I right, love really you guys. Fun. What an honor. I love, I, love you too. I love you. There's no reason for you to say it back, but I know that's courtesy. No, no, I love you. You, you. We love you. Right. We love you. We <laughs> love you. Long, long time fans. Oh, thank long you, guys. Love you. All right. Yeah. We're going to take a okay. break. That's what we need to do. We're going to take a break yeah. and music from Vicky Farewell coming yes. soon. Farewell. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hi guys. Wow. Yeah, let's Bye. um let's get a tune from Vicky and then we'll do a break, yeah? Oh, okay, sure. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Are you feeling Thanks guys. Feeling ready? Sure, yeah. Yeah, let's Scott, get a tune. Love you. Bye. Things 
to Vicky Farewell and Blake Anderson sticking Woo! around. Season. Rocket, man. And wow. here's Tim's new video. Wow, that was magical.
but you don't love me still what can i do to convince you if you want me to i'll kill just bear